everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Trails from Zero. Now, um, last time we ended up meeting with Yen and um, apparently learned that the threat letter that was sent with Yen's name on it came from someone else. Well, now we gotta basically make sure that, um, well, how can I say this? We gotta run security, and hopefully we'll find the person who uh, sent the letter. So first off, we're gonna need to talk to the receptionist, Roland, and I think that's this guy here, right? Roland? Hmm. Okay, Alright. You and me both, brother. Oh. Okay, I have to examine the main door. Yeah, I have to examine this. You don't want to get in trouble for slacking on the job, do you? Alright, let's go in the east doorway. And examine the door at the end. Hmm. So far, nothing out of the ordinary here. This, this door and examine both of these. So let's look in here. Some of those guys and girls look very uh, similar. Hey, is that? You got a point there, Ellie. Alright, now I gotta head back and go downstairs, back into the rooms over here. And the first room, we gotta talk to a person named uh, Corella. Corellia. Well, I think that's all you can do. And that should be the end of the first act. Huh. Well, that's good to hear. So where is Dudley? Now it's over? Should've been over when I, uh... When I first went through this. Oh, I never talked to Basalamo. That's what screwed everything up until I talked to him.
gotta admit, this this play actually does look really, really uh, cool. Gotta do everything again. Ain't no problem. Hopefully, it stays that way. He's just got something stuck up as you know where. Thing to know, uh, Grandpa McDowell's doing good. Something tells me that guy may not be preoccupied with the, uh, how can I say this, with the play. Someone's hiding snacks on the job, eh? Okay, nobody in there. Okay. Now the second act is over, and I gotta do this one more time.
Wow, these these two are actually really good. I mean, I mean seriously, wow. I'm awestruck. Some tells me it probably will. As much as I'd like that too, Elliot, I think you're asking for a little too much. Alright, one more go around. Oh, good. Good. You're telling me. Jeez, dude, I, I'm kind of tempted to have Ellie and uh, Lloyd go in there, find a couple seats, and just enjoy the show. Can be their uh, unofficial first date. One thing about good storytelling, if you can pull a um, that swift left turn out of nowhere and make it make sense, you can almost get away with anything in a story. That hard left turn, that unforeseen twist. What's up with that dude? Where is that Dudley? <laughs> oh, that was Dudley. He wasn't there la he wasn't in that spot last time. Was he? Or maybe I've been too captivated by the story of the of the play to uh pay attention. A thud? Dressing room, eh? Much as I hate to do this. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary here. How many times? Some, I still can't believe I have to do that three times in a row. All right. Now that that's been done three times. There's only one thing I need to do. Princess? The 
Moon Princess. That is just simply amazing. My, my goodness. Jinxed it. Wait, she? Where? What trick is that? You mean to tell me the old the old cleaning crew trick? Wasn't that played out long ago? Maybe wait till the tickets went on sale? So she's innocent here. Well, are you gonna try and I don't know, are you gonna try and uh assassinate somebody, Grace? I want to plead the fifth. Wait a minute, you said him. 
Who is him? You're leaving us with no choice. You still broke a broke a little rule, you know. So you can either start talking here or we can just take you downtown. What does that have to do with anything? Wait a minute, Ernest? Stop that! Wait, what's the guard doing knocked out? About to try it. A knife. You're really about to try and off the old man here. Uh, sucks. Oh yeah, right. Cut from the same cloth my foot. Ellie is nothing like you. You no good, dirty rat.
Oh, this guy is fast. What you got on? Rollerblades or something? You honestly think you're gonna get outside? You didn't think you were gonna get away, did you? us the entire time I'm with you Tio sold out for a good long while for that. Hey, he's alive! Oh. Oh. You almost gave me a heart attack, old man! stage and in the intrigue behind it. A preview of Golden Sun Silver Moon. The anticipated new stage show from Ark and Seal has had its preview performance. Excuse me. Ilya Plactier captivated the audience from the moment the curtain rose with the breathtaking acro uh, acrobatics. Act 2 followed with the appearance of a, new, of a hopeful new face, Rixia Mao, who stunned the audience with her mystique and expressive dancing. T 
Together with the atmosphere that Ileana, Ilya eliminated the stage with, the audience was delighted. I felt like I was witnessing the rebirth of Ark and Seal. The official opening will surely be something to look forward to. The Mayoral Assassin's Dagger While the drama was unfolding on stage, a more real one was unfolding behind the scenes. As the police discovered and foiled an attempted assassination of Mayor Henry McDowell in the balcony during the preview performance. An official statement has been issued regarding the incident, and the official word is that the suspect, Mr. Ernest Reyes, 29, McDowell's top aide, arrived with the mayor to watch a performance. He smuggled a gun and dagger past security officials, then attempted to use them to assassinate the mayor. What motivations did he have? Mr. Reyes served as the mayor's top aide for many years and was known as his honest pers uh, known for his honest personality. Why did he commit this crime? In gathering evidence, we discovered that he was also illegally misappropriating marital funds and had connections with specific representatives. Additional evidence suggests he planned to run for the next mayoral mayoral election and is speculated to commit the crime to try and obtain the political position himself. However, the police have taken over the investigation, so the true motives are will likely remain confidential. Behind the suspect's arrest, Crossbell's uh, Cross police have become aware of the assassination plot in advance, subse uh, uh, subsequently deploying a security team inside the theater. The team was fooled by the suspect's clever diversion. However, the newly commissioned special support section, conducting their own independent investigation, were able to thwart Reyes' plan and save the mayor. A detective from the first division, the first investigative division, said, "No comment. I cannot dis divulge more than what has been publicly disclosed." Mayor mayoral vacation. Following the incident, Mayor McDowell has decided to take a vacation. Even though he wasn't severely injured, the stress on his mind and body was immense, so he has made the decision in consideration of his old age, stated a city's public relations officer. Though the mayor's safety is indeed good news, it is also far unclear how long this break will last. The anniversary festival is approaching, and all of us at the newspaper pray for his quick return to duty. In more ways than one, Randy. Oh, so if they're not, they will be. Ultimate is underselling it, Tio. Well, I guess they really, they, uh, they couldn't mention it. That seems more likely. Without proof. That may have been the backup plan.
Wait a minute. You're telling me the uh, second in command was actually showering us with praise? Yeah. I'm with Tio on this one. Yeah, not much of a not much of an accomplishment, eh, Randy? Oh, the entire force. Nah. Let's not let this go to our head. Yeah. Ellie must be feeling beside herself for this. I wouldn't call this trivial, Mayor. You almost lost your life. yourself for not noticing. Father's more more aware of who you really are than than you yourself are, Ellie. Inspiration to me, 
Mr. Mayor. You got a good granddaughter there, Mr. Mayor. Pretty soon, pretty soon you might have a uh, grandson-in-law. <laughs> if Lloyd plays his cards right. So, the mob was in on this, huh? Just who are you again? <laughs> this, every time I seem to wrap something up, there apparently happens to be more loose ends that show themselves. Mao here is in fact Yin. It's because uh, if I'm right, I looked this up once. Yeah, uh, like she was given the uh, the title long ago. Now, from what I've heard, she play she's actually playable in uh, one of the Trails games. Oh, she's actually available to play in... Wait, are you serious? She's actually available to play in this game and in uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2? Huh. I'm about to get back into playing uh, Trails from Zero, uh, of Cold Steel. Anyway, uh, speaking of that, I actually just picked up um, Trails into Reverie. So, I will go through um, Trails to Azure as well as the, the Trails of Cold Steel series before I play that game on my channel. But uh, as far as Rixia being in, well, I'll go into that when that starts uh, happening.
Man, what a chapter. Alright, so that's five uh, points, bringing me up to what, 142? 14, that should make... Oh, wow. Oh, ingenuity. I'll come out to check that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll begin Chapter 3. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell, turn on all notifications for my channel. Share the video around as it does help grow my channel, and I'd be greatly appreciative of it. If you need more gaming content, feel free to check out the video on the two playlists in the end screen. If you need more gaming content after that, feel free to check out my channel where I upload gaming videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Till next time, everyone. See you later. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.